Welcome. This video covers the new software program eTakeoff Bridge. It's an innovative tool to integrate electronic takeoff with Sage Estimating. eTakeoff Bridge includes features that have never before been seen in the industry. Before we start showing you Bridge, it's important to understand the relationship between assemblies in Sage and assemblies in eTakeoff. One of the distinguishing features of Sage Estimating is the Smart Assembly. eTakeoff is the only electronic takeoff product that can replicate Sage's Smart Assembly concept to allow capturing the Sage Assembly variables at takeoff time, independent of Sage Estimating. Thus, eTakeoff becomes much more than just an electronic digitizer, filling in lengths, counts, and areas. It also means that the workflow between eTakeoff and the estimate is much more dynamic. This is the eTakeoff list of measurement types called traces. This can be the same list of assemblies and items as you see in your Sage estimating database. For example, here's a 2x4 wall. If I do a simple measurement, you can see that in addition to capturing the length, I'm also asked for the height, the layers of sheetrock, and whether insulation and painting are required just as you see in the Sage Assembly. So let's take a look at Bridge and how eTakeoff and Sage Estimating integrate. On this drawing I took off eight freeform slabs. Note that each slab assembly specifies wire mesh and concrete strength. Again, the same variables you would see in Sage. So let's see how Bridge can be used to send these slab measurements to the estimate. The first thing we do is create an empty estimate in Sage. Now let's go to the View tab in this eTakeoff project and start Bridge. Bridge will create a link, or a bridge, between this project and eTakeoff and a specific estimate. Note that Bridge recognizes that this is the first time we've created a bridge between the La Quinta Hotel project and this particular estimate and is asking me if that's what I want to do. I created Estimate 4 in Sage, so I'll just call this bridge Estimate 4. We will now go to find the Sage Estimate. And Bridge has already provided us with the La Quinta Hotel project because that's the project we're currently taking off. So I'll accept that. Bridge now shows me all of the items and all of the assemblies that are in this Sage database associated with the estimate. This is coming right out of the Sage database. You'll notice the numbering schemes are the same. That's not necessary, but it does make the relationship between eTakeoff and Sage very consistent. So now it's very simple. If you'd like to send this particular measurement over to estimating, just grab the measurement and drop it right on top of that assembly in Sage. What Bridge will do is it will find the assembly in Sage, show you all the variables as they exist in Sage, and all of the items that would be generated. The other pane here will display the information available about the measurement from eTakeoff. Here's that measurement in eTakeoff with the area, concrete strength, and so on. So we have the information from Sage, and we have the information from eTakeoff for this particular slab. Bridge is a learning system, so if you've never used this measurement before, you can now teach Bridge the relationship. There's an area in the Sage assembly, so I'm just going to drag the area from the takeoff over to this variable. Bridge will show me the mapping in color and also list the area variable that's coming from eTakeoff. Now we need concrete strength, so I'll drop that over. Perimeter, and also wire mesh. You can now visually see the mapped variables color-coded. You've taught Bridge the relationship between this measurement in eTakeoff and the assembly in Sage. So at this point, it's simply a matter of adding the pass which generates all the item quantities. We can then simply send this to the estimate. That information is now in the Sage estimate. 
There are other ways to get the takeoff information into bridge and the estimate. The measurement list shows all of the measurements in the entire project. You can sort the list, summarize it, change the columns, even save multiple configurations. It's completely up to you how you set this up. The benefit here is that you can set this up to show all the slabs across the entire project rather than trying to hunt them down in each of the drawings or a particular location. Here are the slabs and the location that was assigned. I'm going to take all of these Section 2 slabs and drag them over as a group into the slab on grade assembly. Notice what happens. There are three passes queued up because there are three individual slab measurements. But most importantly, all of the measurement information between SAGE and the E takeoff measurement is completely automated. You no longer have to map these variables. Bridge remembers everything from this point forward, so now we have automated all of the relationships. At this point, it's easy to add passes. We can add all three at once. We now have all three passes with all item quantities generated. Before we continue, let's make one modification. We'll designate this relationship as fully automatic. We will cover this more shortly, but let's go ahead and send this off to the estimate. Now, let's take a look at some of the other capabilities of eTakeoff Bridge. Review Mode. Review Mode shows us each of the measurements that have been sent over to the SAGE estimate. You can see every measurement. You can see every assembly that that measurement was assigned to in estimating. Notice that items have one bar and assemblies have three. If you wish to find this particular measurement in the takeoff, just right click and drill down will find it for you. Now, let's flip this sequence. Instead of seeing the list in order of takeoff measurements, we now see it by the estimating assembly with all the measurements that were assigned to that assembly. And here are the location codes to the right. Another important feature is the Hide Assigned button. You can simply click the button and it will hide all the measurements that were sent to the estimate. So we can quickly tell that there are four measurements that have been sent to the estimate and four that are remaining. Again, you can drill down and find a particular measurement. Let's take things a step further. We could now go back to manual mode and continue to drag and drop the remaining measurements over to bridge, and we could do that all day long with all the measurements in the project. However, since we have taught bridge that this particular slab and its variables are mapped to the slab assembly in Sage, we can use bridge to speed things up. Remember the last slab measurement we did. Just before we send it to the estimate, we used the pull-down option to select Fully Automatic. When we did that, we told Bridge that the next time we use that slab on grade measurement in e takeoff, we want Bridge to automatically find the measurement for us. We no longer have to hunt down all the slab measurements on the drawing and manually drag and drop them on the right Sage assembly. Instead, we can simply select the Automatic mode and Bridge will find all the measurements throughout the project that it has been taught and have been designated as automatic. And of course, in this case, you'll see it actually found the four slab measurements that were remaining. So these four had already been sent to the estimate, and these four are still to go. And instead of doing them one by one as we did before, the Submit Fully Automatic Assignments button is now active. If we click this, it will take all the measurements in the list and send them over to Sage. So let's do that. Now, all of the measurements have been sent. Notice that all eight measurements are now in the estimate. And if we go to the review mode, we can verify that. As you continue your work, there's a high likelihood that you're going to get a drawing addendum, which will require changes to your takeoff. This is where Bridge really shines. Most integration tools will update the estimate with the new quantity but they eliminate any prior estimate changes you may have made, such as pricing, waste, productivity factors, and so on. Bridge is the only Sage integrator that will update measurement changes while retaining any modifications to the estimate information. Let's see how Bridge handles drawing changes. eTakeoff has a feature called Edit Points, which lets us modify any of the measurements that are in the drawing. 
we're going to change this slab measurement and because of that change we'll need to change the concrete strength to 4000 psi. Note that we have made a modification to the spec as well as to the measurement itself. Now let's go to the review mode. Bridge is now showing two icons in the list. There's an icon like this which is the unchanged measurements that have already been sent to the estimate and then this one with the little pencil that represents changed measurements. These are filters that let us select what kind of information to show. Let's turn off the unchanged measurements so we can concentrate on this changed measurement. Now right click and drill down. There's the measurement highlighted on the drawing. To review it, just double click. Bridge finds the measurement and tells us that the area and the perimeter have been changed and we've also made a change to the spec. It's now 4000 PSI. At this point we can simply apply all the changes to the measurement. All the items have been recalculated. Let's also change the assembly description so we can see this changed highlighted later in the spreadsheet. And then we'll just send that over to the estimate. Now let's review the SAGE estimate. We're going to turn off bridge and go out to the estimating system, open up that estimate and go to the assembly tab to see the spreadsheet in assembly order. Let's review this slab assembly. Note here the three passes that we made. It was one assembly with three passes. So we have a complete audit of each of these different measurements that were included in that assembly. Here's the 5 inch slab assembly that we modified in e-takeoff. Our note is highlighting that. Remember bridge and review mode? It automatically found that change and let us submit it back to the estimate. Let's review this assembly. Here's your complete audit trail. At this time, it was this square feet. At this time, that was negated. And then, at this time, we sent the modified slab through at this square feet for the area. You also have a complete audit of those changes made in e-takeoff. The quantity fields that have the little blue triangle in the upper left-hand corner indicate that the quantity you see here is supported by a measurement in e-takeoff. You can either click this new button in Sage Estimating, called Drill Down, or you can right click and drill down to bridge. Sage will keep a placeholder back into the estimate. Then it will open up bridge and show us all the information about that particular slab. You can then drill down and e-takeoff will highlight the actual measurement on the drawing. No other integration tool allows you to drill down from the Sage estimate back to the drawing and highlight the originating measurement. Thank you. That concludes our overview of eTakeoff Bridge.